Okay, here we are at the new property on Columbia. A uh, very nice area. There's the home right now that's listed for 160. I don't know if you can see the sign in the yard. Uh, ours is going to be a lot better than that. And here's the area. A uh, pretty popular area. Shouldn't take very long to sell at 150. Maybe even 155 or even 160. The outside's in good shape. A little bit of tuck pointing there on the bricks. I need a new roof. I uh, will paint the outside windows here. You see it's already got a new fence up. And then here's the great deck. What we're going to do, we're going to put a driveway pad here. So there's off street parking, there's an alley in the back here. That's what people do in St. Louis. They, they drive in the alley and then they park in the backyard here. And then we'll have a little walkway going up there. Uh, there's the deck in the back of the house. the deck one thing we might do no we can't because we got the beams here it doesn't matter. Come in the front door. You got stairs to the right, the living room, and then it goes into the dining room right there. What we're going to do, we're going to open this up more. We have to leave all this here because of the plumbing that's inside of it. And plus, this is a load bearing wall. But we can open it a little bit. This is a bathroom that's in a dining room. Ridiculous. Cannot, and then look how small it makes the dining room. It's not functional. So we're gonna move that bathroom out and move it into the kitchen. This is the kitchen. We're gonna put the bathroom right in here. We may shorten up this closet a little bit, this pantry. I haven't decided yet if we're gonna put the door to the bathroom on the kitchen side or over here from this side. I kind of think it may should go in from the kitchen side or we could we could put it here. Uh, I would like your guys' opinion on that. This going into the kitchen, we're also going to open this up. We'll put an archway here this will open this up so that way you'll have an open kitchen and open into the living room and dining room it'll be a nice open floor plan here is the kitchen what we're going to do as you see now they have where the refrigerator goes here and the stove goes here uh, Obviously there's going to be a bathroom in there. So what we're going to do, is we're going to put cabinets along here. This is all coming out. We're going to put cabinets along here and then all along there. And then up top, we'll probably take this out. I don't think there's anything up there. We'll take that out and get the taller cabinets that can go there. Over the cabinets here, we'll have a bar, so you'll still have this bar area just on this side. But the dishwasher will go here, the sink will go here, and then the cabinets will continue with the countertop too, will continue along to here, and then the stove will go here, 
and then some more countertop. Which means that the refrigerator will either have to go along this wall or along this wall. And if there's a door here, then we can't put anything there. So we might have to put the door on the other side. And this is also pretty cool. You got this little sitting room here off the kitchen. That looks out onto this fantastic deck that we don't need to build. I'll show you the upstairs. We'll put a nice hand railing here. Maybe like some black iron or something. Or we'll do something there. I'm not sure what yet. All right. So you come up. This is another big change we're making is this restroom here. You see how small this restroom is. There's only one full bath and it's pretty narrow. So what we're going to do is as, as I step into the master bedroom you see behind the bathroom into this closet we got all this space so we're going to move this stack and this whole wall is going to come out to about here which is about a little less than two feet so we're going to widen it up two feet and we'll bring this out as well. This wall will come about like that to make that bathroom two feet wider, which would make a huge difference. We'll get a new new vanity. I haven't figured out the size of the vanity yet with the way the door opens. Uh, maybe we'll put the door on the other side, who knows. Uh, all right, here's the master it's got two closets as you see it still gives you plenty of closet space on this side and then you've got another closet on this side and then you have the two bedrooms two more bedrooms as you can see it's only a two bedroom now but what we're going to do we're going to put a door right there which will bring you in to this bedroom and there's going to be a wall right here or a wall that off so that'll make that a room and that a room there's a closet there with plumbing access so this bedroom is fine all we gotta do is wall this off it'll be a small bedroom it'll make a good office this room will be the biggest second bedroom there'll be a clock or the wall going here and then we'll put you know a small little closet in this corner right there and that's it for the property on Columbia uh, shouldn't take too long to rehab uh, should look pretty great whenever we're done uh, we'll get hardwood floors in probably do carpet upstairs is what I'm thinking uh, new lighting. Uh, this house will be a gem by the time we're done with it and it will sell like hotcakes. Um, whole process I'm pretty sure will take less than six months from the time we close on it to the time we close on it. So uh, that's it. Just give me coffee and any questions. Okay, thanks. Bye.